welcome to another episode of Just Us Dads. Uh, thank you for tuning in to another dad versation. If this is your first time, do us a favor and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Also, you can follow us and like all our other um, social media uh, stuff. We're on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, wherever else you get your podcasts uh, on the audio platforms. Um, so yeah, go on there and uh, give us a like, subscribe, and follow. Um, as always, Chris, George, we're uh, we're back. So uh, thanks for being here. And uh, what's up, guys? Good man. Good, yeah. good. George, guys, just George, George just woke up, <laughs> so you see some shine in his eyes. <laughs> he's been trying to, he's been trying to get those eyes open for the last uh, half hour or so. Um, what's going on? I thought I thought we could start today just by answering one of the questions one person had sent us, and then we're going to get to another topic that we think uh, might be interesting. Uh, the question was uh, how we feel about posting our kids' pictures on uh, our social media platforms, whatever it is. Are we for? Are we against? Uh, what do we think about it? Do we do it a lot? Do we do it very little? Uh, do we think before putting anything? What do we put? When do we put it? Uh, and all that kind of stuff. The thing is that these two guys over here don't really use social media. That <laughs> so no, that, that, That's good because you're going to get a different perspective. Yeah, exactly. But, it, but see, it's not about you using it. It's about you using it and exposing your children. So, I mean... So, wait. So, now, George, you fell into the trap. So, let me ask the question. Let me ask the question. Why do you post your kids on social media? I post whatever I want to post because uh, I'd like to share moments that I think are nice to me. Uh, I mean, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna put pictures of my kids' butts, you know. What I mean, like some parents really go off the charts, there, you know. But like the other picture I posted actually this morning, uh, we got the uh, we got the school pictures, <laughs> and uh, so we we had to pick them, whatever. And then there was one that was a class picture. So I'm looking at all the kids, and all the kids, well, almost all the kids, they have their arms crossed like this, you know. So I'm guessing the photographer probably told them, look, cross your arms and smile. We'll do, you know, a little. And smack in the middle <laughs> is my daughter with this fucking pose. <laughs> <laughs> and I just started laughing because it's like she's so like against the current. It's like, you know, and I can I can I can imagine uh, I can imagine the conversation, you know, like the 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 photographer saying, all right, kids, just cross your hands, cross your, uh, you know, cross your arms and smile. And then my daughter pops up and she's like smack in the middle, right? Yeah. <laughs> Look at this little pose. Like a well, he, you know? He, no, he noticed she's the star and, and actually put her there. He probably put know. her there. Look, the I mean, I found that funny. So I'm like, you know what? Look, I'm going to share this. You know, I'm like, look, you know what? No, but when you share, when you share, like, why do you, do you share for the comments? Do you share? No, I you want to. Look, I shared because, you know, there's also a lot of family and friends and I just want to share it. And I, I just found that it was funny too, right? So, and I, I even wrote, you know, uh, Class picture, photographer, two two dots, you know, quote, hey, kids, cross your arms and smile, you know? And then two mm. seconds later, dot, dot, dot. <laughs> you know I mean? you the, and I put the picture. So I, I just found it funny. So stuff like that, I'll put, you know, birthday pictures. Uh, and at the same time, also in the back of my mind, we, we're, used to, we're used to taking so many pictures on the phone that you don't really look at them. I think we've already had this conversation in the past where, you know, some parents actually still print pictures and make albums because it's tangible. You know, you're going to go, you're going to pick it up, you're going to look at them. Whereas on your phone, it gets lost, whether it's a picture or whether it's a video or whatever it is. Yeah, I mean, you take so many pictures and you don't even go back to look at them, right? Uh, and I feel that the the most beautiful ones or like the, the, you know, the ones that I'm like, oh, it looks such a nice picture. Okay, like her hugging her little sister or playing together or holding hands. Yeah. Like stuff like that. I'm like, you know what? Let me post that. And at least it's, it's on my account. So if anything ever happens, at least it's documented there, right? I can always, yeah, yeah. I can look plus, at it. Plus you like pictures a lot. Like you I like do. photography. Yeah, I, I you take photography. pictures. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm into that stuff. So, so I, I also do it for that, right? So it's, it's a place for me to document like the really nice stuff, whether it's just my daughters or family moments or any, but other than that, I mean, I'm not going to go like I'm, I'm, I don't go stupid on the, on the, on the post, you know, like I, yeah, yeah. like I, I follow. Uh, well, I'm, you, you didn't answer Chris's question. Yeah, I asked you why. What are you looking for? 
nothing. I just want to share something that I find nice and I think other people are going to, you know, like it, enjoy it and maybe relate to it. You know, I mean, uh, now with kids, I mean, yeah. you know, and at the same time, too, don't forget that, you know, you have family everywhere all over the world now. It's like, oh, look, look at my kid. You know, I mean, it's you're sharing also the picture with them. They can see it. Uh, they, you know, they stay updated, too, on, you know, how your family is growing. And do, do you think sometimes I might be wrong? I might be wrong on this, but it's funny. But do you think sometimes that people say, oh, this guy with a stupid kid again? Because <laughs> 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 I think everybody that posts, everybody, because I, I don't post, but everybody that posts, I think says, man, look at my kid. I want the world to admire them. Yeah. And uh, everyone, everyone thinks like that. And no one thinks that everybody else thinks about them. <laughs> right so it's, you, know, you know what i mean yeah, yeah, yeah so nobody thinks that people think about them negatively but it depends if you're the type of person that posts five pictures a day with your kids yeah you, you even me i'm like oh fuck another one of these kids man like all right how many how many pictures of your kids are we gonna see but yeah I I, let, me, let me let me just say something yeah, yeah. i'm saying this because whatever i didn't want to say it like bluntly but i don't post but i have people showing me pictures of their kids or other kids but they don't show me pictures of other kids saying look at this look how nice this is it's like look at this malak again look what he posted again <laughs> <laughs> you know I, I get more of that i get more of that than look how nice this family looks you know i don't get that often so you have people showing you <laughs> pictures of other people telling you look have, how stupid these guys are <laughs> i have other people showing me other pictures of other families complaining that, that they too. post too much you know yeah. I yeah, because that they, too. They, they post a lot like I'm not, I'm not, I'm not at that caliber. I'm not, I'm, I'm far from that level. Like uh, I think I, back in the day when I used a lot of photography, like maybe I would put more, but I can't remember. Uh, but no, my 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 kids, it's it's really like stuff that I actually find very funny or very beautiful or whatever, you know, like, and it's not daily. Like I very rarely post. Yeah, yeah. it decorates your page and yeah. yeah. But I think people do it for different reasons, man. Some people yeah. do it because... Like you, they, they want to share. They want to share the, the share the joy. There, there's grandparents, there's uncles and yeah. aunts that always ask, and it's like, here, I'm keeping you up to date with what she looks like or what yeah, he yeah, looks yeah. like. Yeah. But I think there's also a, a big majority of people, maybe maybe not a big majority, but there there are some people that they'll put it for validation. A lot of people, it's like, you know, they, they're doing it for different reasons, and I find it, it depends how you do it. I personally don't do it because I, I don't have a need to do it. But you, um, you you don't post because you don't post to yourself. It's not about not just posting your kids. You don't mm, post in general. You're just not active at all. Not, yeah, in general, I don't find I need the validation. Uh, maybe I'm. It's maybe more egotistical, I guess. But it, it's for me. Like my memories are for me and my family. I'll share certain things. I'll share the stories. But I, I, like putting putting like my life in display. Yeah. Like you might say, Chris, you're a hypocrite because you're doing podcasts. But podcast is more the reflection of my mind, right? It's yeah, not it's really. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, I don't want. I don't want to paint a picture. Yeah. You know. But I understand why people do it, and people like it. I just find sometimes it's overdone, and maybe the kid is okay, or like you're, you know. But uh, there's a lot of people posting their food. There's a lot of people posting their. their, 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 their <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like yeah. I, I've seen posts of people showing me their bed. You know, like. <laughs> Yeah, look, it's fine. Yeah, I, I, pe pe it's people bad. like it. People like it. I'm sure there's there's an audience for it. I think there's an audience for everything. There's also there's also a dark audience for it. That's the that's the weirder part. Yeah. Okay. You going? Yeah. Yeah. That that that's yeah. That's See, a reality. That's no, a reality. No, no, absolutely. Cute. And you know when, when uh, and, and I said that to my wife early on when because uh, you know my in laws are on Instagram on on uh, on social media for my family. Uh, like my father just got on Facebook maybe last year or two years ago and he only got on because he wanted to follow my campaign. So my sister created an account for him so he can see all the pictures and all that stuff. Right. And he kept it since then. Uh, but my in-laws are both on it. Right. And from the very beginning, they, you know, they were taking pictures and she wanted my, my mother-in-law wanted to post pictures so that people back in Colombia can see the kid and all that stuff. And in the beginning there was that geotagging. So she would post the pictures and it would say, you know, her name. Oh, uh, where you are. Yeah. And it was like, Parc de whatever the park was. Oof. Took the picture. And I told my wife, I'm like, listen, tell your mom to turn off the geotagging option on the phone. Like, I don't care uh, her posting yeah, pictures yeah. or whatever, but I don't want people to know where they are or what park she hangs out, uh, out in. And, you know, so that for me was, uh, was a bit of an issue. Or when they're not home. Yeah. Yeah. Like that, that, that for me. It, it, it like the 
it's non-negotiable. Like, just turn off the geotagging. Put the picture up. I don't know if when you remove the geotagging, if there's an option for them to find where it was taken or to kind of locate the the um, the, the picture. I don't know, but uh, but that's that was big though, and it, it exists, right? I mean, your phone comes with its standard. I think when you take a picture, yeah. people look into your pictures. It says the it says the location. So I'm thinking like when all this thing started, I did create a Facebook. I do have a Facebook. I'm not active. You you have one. And I know there's pictures. I know at a point, you know, when, when, when it was the hot topic and it was like, Oh, what is this going to turn into? I know I I went in with the wave as well. And, um, like now, not that I mind that they're on, but it would have been better if they weren't, you know, your kids, you mean, well, my kids, even some pictures of me, like, uh, Not, you know, it's like, I, I find that this Facebook thing cannot go on. It cannot go on like this. You cannot, you cannot create this kind of world like that. I think it you will. Know? I don't think it'll stop. It, it, it's solving certain, no, I'm saying it's solving certain issues. Yeah, I agree with that. Uh, you could market certain things, uh, businessmen and people that have products and our entrepreneurs can really market and really capitalize on this platform. But I think over time, we're going to see the detrimental effects of it on our minds, our psychology, our kids. All, I think it's going to become an issue where people are going to have to do something about it. Because yeah, it's almost as, it's almost like an obsession, right? I mean, uh, I remember in the beginning, I was obsessed. Uh, I was like, okay, what's on Facebook? Who put what? Uh, who's where? What are they doing? It kind of started fading away. I'm not so much on Facebook anymore. Uh, I'm a lot more on Twitter these days. Uh, and it's funny because it always changes because I had let go of Twitter. Like I was mm. very rarely on Twitter. Uh, I'm big time on Instagram. So Trump left and you're on. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I took over. Someone had to take over. <laughs> Someone had to take over, but of course. So I, I'm, big time, <laughs> I'm big time on Instagram, but Instagram is mostly because of the pictures, right? I follow a lot of photographers. So it's, it's interesting for me just to look. How does, how does Instagram work? Nothing. It's pictures. You just post pictures. You know. It's it, it, but it's like a Facebook account. You have a you have an account and yeah, it's you your name. A, yeah, you have an account. You have a name and it's just pictures. So it's your photo album. It's, yeah, it's a photo album. Uh, okay. You can put text and stuff. You can uh, and, and you can comment. People can comment yeah, on what yeah, you have. Yeah, they can comment. Uh, you can put stories. Uh, it's, and what's the difference with Pinterest? I have no idea. I don't know Pinterest. I don't go on Pinterest. Because that one's pictures too. Because I know my mom. My mom has showed me, hey, look, I have something on Pinterest here. Cause, and she has recipes and nice cakes and nice yeah. pictures. I don't know. So, so, okay, anyway. I've, I, I don't know Pinterest. I've never been on it. Uh, I don't know how it works. So... I don't know. Now, George, how do you feel, man? I have zero. George has no, no idea. But, but how do you idea. feel? How do you feel? Would you put your kids? Would you post pictures of your kids? Well, look, well, Cynthia has a lot of so, well, Cynthia's on social media. She posts yeah. pictures of your kids. I, I, and fr- frankly, I like it when she does it because I see your kids. I'm like, oh, okay, cool. Yeah, okay. They're doing karate or whatever they're doing, you know? And I like it. It keeps me up to date on where your family is. I'm glad yeah, it is. <laughs> but you but there is there is a sense of pride there is a, i get i get how you could be proud and you want to share and you want people to like as well yeah it, it makes sense it makes but sense it's not, it's not like your wife overdoes it either she's not one of those moms either like everything you know, oh, well, she, she knows i'm not a biggest fan of it she yeah that too. but see, you like, know who yeah, you know ahead. who has to you know who has to really relax with the social media andre <laughs> Andre has no idea what Facebook is. He doesn't give a shit. I'm surprised Andre has a cell phone. He's like me, man. I'm surprised he has a cell phone. No, no, he's all like you, George. You're not on it, but you understand. You understand. You get. I, I think Andre does, does, just doesn't understand it. Just, Maybe he does. Just, I don't know. <laughs> it's a it's a big question mark. It's just. What, it's, it's I'll, I'll give. I'll tell you how much it doesn't matter that he doesn't understand it because George's father uses it. And your father uses it also. But it doesn't guys, take long to pick up on it. He's going to be fine my, without it. My dad is more on social media than me. Yeah, yeah, for sure, man. But he's also retired. He's raised his kids. He's done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he likes things. You know, now his brother in Greece is on it as well. It's like, wow. This is what it's for. Yeah, it? yeah, yeah. I think that's what they're using it most, uh, mostly I'm, for. You know? Uh, looking yeah. at their family. But I mean, like, now, it's, okay, Jory, how big is your, your Facebook? Uh, how many people are you linked to? well look i have two i have a personal page and i have a profile where you post these pictures of your kids how many people are linked to that yeah i have uh, close to a thousand i think on facebook something like that uh the other one the page a thousand, a thousand people that need to know about your daughter's uh yeah, it's just 
all over the it's just people everywhere you know but uh, uh, uh it's this one. the further the further the relationship gets between you and that person the more likely this person is telling Chris Kulubis, look at this Malaga. Yeah. Uh, you know what? Let, let, me just, let me just put something in here. What turned me off with Facebook? Because now I've, I've, I know more about Facebook than being in Facebook because I've read a lot about yeah. Facebook and the effects and Simon yeah. Sinek and guys like that that talk about shit like this. But what initially turned me off from Facebook, you guys know what it is? And this happened to me and I'm not going to mention names. Yeah. But somebody friended me on Facebook. I accepted. We had a little chat. And then we saw each other on the street and we didn't talk to each other. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so it was easier to have that barrier. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So it was like, Everybody's a monster with that barrier. And, and, and I felt weird. I'm like, this is awkward. Yeah. And you know what? The, the word friend took a new meaning. Yeah. It, it's, yeah. a, it's a new definition. It's not oh, the same sure. thing. For sure. And you know, people get upset now when they're like, what? She, she unfriended me? What the fuck's wrong with this, uh, with this person? You know what I mean? It's like, yeah. take offense. It's like, uh, it's, it, yeah, you're right. It's the, it's, the new, um, uh, <laughs> it's a new meaning of friendship. Yeah. But, and, um, and the other thing, you know what the other thing is? I find it's too tiring. Oh, you're, invited, you're being invited to like and like this and share, and then you, no, you're people, not going to like yeah, People don't do that anymore. I remember. No, the, no, no, no. I, I heard people say, oh, she didn't like my thing, and I put it, and I liked hers, and she didn't like oh, mine. Oh, my God. Are you serious? Yeah, 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 like, yeah. Oh, what's, yeah. His, what's his problem? He hasn't liked any of my stuff in two weeks. Oh, I've, yeah, I've heard yeah, stuff yeah. like that. What's his problem? I can't, I, I can't keep up with that. I don't, I, yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't want to have to deal with that. You know what not I mean? Look, not checking your, your updates and, and liking people's stuff is, is, is a sign to them that you don't like them anymore. Yeah, no, I, I'm not even there. Uh, honestly, I, fighting I, with them I, 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 I rarely comment on other people's stuff. Like sometimes like the people that I really know closely, like I'll like or you, know, like you can have a heart or there's like other little emojis. There's the hug emoji. There's the crown yeah. emoji and all that stuff. Uh birthdays i'm gonna maybe you know send a little message happy birthday like to the to the close friends and stuff but uh, i feel like i remember when facebook started remember there was the poke oh, yeah, poking me like uh, you'd go like people would just waste fucking time poking each other remember the poke? oh yeah well, well yeah what was the poke again it was I just know, the poke they, is like they, hey you remember me you know they, like you, you get poked uh, hey no that was the wave that was the wave it was, no, was trying to, try to stimulate poke. a conversation. Uh, oh, yeah, poke, poke. yeah, that's not there. So, but yeah, I don't hear a lot of that stuff. Me, I don't know. Maybe I'm not in that environment. I mean, you're mostly around parents and with Alex and everything. It, so. it, it's funny because it's for me, it's artificial. It's artificial way of communicating, but you're trying to make it as natural as possible for people to relate. Like the poke, it's like in real life, if you poke, it's like, hey, what's up? You know? Yeah. yeah. But, but these these things they don't translate well. I find online, it's weird. Like, why would somebody wave at you? <laughs> like, hey, what what's the, up, man? Well, well, no, but what is that? What does that mean? It's like virtually. It's like, let's say they, they, they saw you down the street and they said hi, but it's like through Facebook. No, that's that's picture picture was you're somewhere where you're standing around having a drink and the person across the room, hey, <laughs> you know? Yeah, I know. I know. But what I'm saying is like, it's, it's, it's trying to emulate something, but it's yeah. not natural. It, it's, yeah. it's, it's definitely, not natural. yeah, it's definitely a strange new reality. But the thing with me is that I, I got into social media because of work and it was like a necessity because everything has happened mm, on this platform. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we had of to course. start, uh, you know, uh, fan pages and stuff and, um, uh, and in the campaigns, we got into like really the technical stuff, you know, like uh, taking ads, uh, targeting them. Uh, like it's really, really, I don't know if you guys, have, you probably haven't done it, but you want to put an ad somewhere, you can really find people's interest, uh, categorize it according to sex, uh, uh, age, uh, territory, interest. Uh, you can go down to the fucking postal code. You know what I mean? So during a campaign, it was amazing. Like we could place yeah. our ads exactly where our voters were, for example, and get them to come out. Really, really uh, interesting stuff. You know, like that side of it got me kind of interested you know it's like what else can we do with this you know where else can we go get supporters for example right yeah, yeah. i can understand how from a business perspective it could be a very very powerful tool uh, especially if you're using ads on facebook which i think f f uh, i read somewhere that it's probably the most effective tool in terms mm -hmm. of ads today like facebook you know yeah no 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 doubt man so but that, that, that's a big difference that's the difference between using it as a tool 
in order to get something done because you have a certain goal. Yeah. And it's different when it's tantrum relief or if it's just wasting your time, you know? Yeah, yeah. But at the same time, look, man, I mean, some people, you know, they find refuge, man. They, they don't have anyone to talk to or whatever. They go on, on Facebook, they rant, and they're going to get a like, a couple comments, and they're going to feel appreciated or they're going to feel that they're heard, you know, or listened to. Yeah, temporarily. Yeah, of course, it's always temporary. Yeah. It's never going to feel avoid. That's, that's, that's <laughs> like the old chat rooms. It's the same kind of thing, but it doesn't really compare to posting pictures of your kids. It's not the same. Thing. No, no. no but the, 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 there's a big difference. The big difference is that you can post whatever you want. You know, you can you you you, you kind of create the world you want and the kind of world you want to project, and uh, that's where it gets dangerous. You know, or like what I mean is like you're manifesting your love whatever you write the great poems to your wife or to your husband or to your kids and then you, you could be living a nightmare behind the scenes yeah, yeah, yeah. there's a lot of that there's a yeah, lot of that the fake you know? image you, you want yeah. to i have a perfect example i, I there used to be a person a family who lived on, on my street and i remember i was teaching uh, my uh, my oldest son to to ride a bike so every day we're going out there three four times a week you know after school before picking up the other guy from daycare and there was this mom, she would take out her daughters every day and they would be rolling on their bikes and she would go up to them and take a selfie with them and take pictures of them. And I'd see her playing on her phone, they take another one and play with her phone. That's it, it's both it, yeah. And, and yeah. seven minutes later, like, yo, come on, let's go. <laughs> We've been outside for a total of 12 <laughs> oh, minutes. Oh, man. Oh, the kids are like, see? well, we're not done riding our bikes. I said, get in now. <laughs> but we're not dying. Blah, blah, blah. She starts barking at them, <laughs> chasing them. Uh, the yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like the people that leave their house to go take a self, the right selfie, right? Like when the riots were happening. Yeah, you saw, saw that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, of course I saw that. That was like, come on, man. You know, it's like, yeah, they pull uh, up. They pull up with the uh, with the banners, <laughs> double parked, quick, quick, and then let's go. Let's get out of here. You go back inside. Go back inside. And you know what? You know what nailed that? I think there was a Subaru commercial that had nailed that, where they go. They, they drive in the, in the Subaru, they get to some campsite, they set up, they take the pictures, and then they, just, they pack up and they leave. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's such a it, wasn't, smart it, was, it wasn't Subaru, but I know. I know the it wasn't Subaru, I don't remember what it was, but it was like that. They nailed that. They yeah, got, yeah. Like they were, they were ahead of their time with that commercial. That yeah. is so yeah. smart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, no, I, I, I see what you're saying. Like, people are living thick lives through the soul. Because don't forget, I see it differently, right? Like, when you're in it, you're in it, right? So it, it becomes part of your reality, and you get your news from there. Like, you, you filter your information from there. You could give your opinion. But if you're watching it from the outside, you detect different things. I find, yeah, I, I detect certain things that are, like, a little bit more phony sometimes. Yeah. Like, the artificial conversations. You know, you could bully anyone online. You can say whatever you want because no one's there. And don't forget, the biggest problem is, like since we're podcasting and we're talking about all this stuff, is that if you don't like something, you could just leave. Yeah. <laughs> you just turn it off and leave. So you don't, you, you, don't have to, you don't have to debate your own argument. You don't have to see if what you said made sense. Yeah. You know what I mean? It, 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 there, there's an escape. You could, you could easily give up. Yeah, but but for me, you know what? It's also been very interesting. You know, I don't do it often, but sometimes, like, uh, I'll throw out an idea just to see what people think, right? Just to to, to test people's minds, and uh, yeah, that's good. Yeah, some ha- some some stuff have you know have created some interesting you know debates there, but um, you know uh, that for me is also very interesting too. But uh, again, to get back to the kids on social media. You know, look, for me, what bothers me is not so much about, like, I know where I stand and I know that, like, I can distinguish what you're saying, Chris, between living a fake life just because you need to post something on on, on social media versus just posting stuff that you enjoy and that you think others might, right? Now, maybe there's a fine line. The person that we're thinking that is over the top that person may be thinking, no, I'm just sharing stuff because I think, you know, it's, it's going to bring value and I, I like to share moments. You know, maybe that's how they think, but you know yeah, the yeah, difference, yeah. right? Um, yeah. But the problem... Yeah, cause the, the, yeah go ahead. Yeah, no, no, go. Well, I'm saying because the problem, maybe I didn't clarify. The problem that it creates is the keeping up with the Joneses also because you're comparing you, what you have, your kids, your relationship, and... You're seeing constant perfection. Like a lot of people, like if you see them online, 
you're thinking this is the perfect person. This is this is the ideal person with ideal family, ideal yeah. vacation. And you, you you're thinking this guy his whole life is a vacation, spending money, the big yeah, cars, yeah. everything. And and all all that is 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 made up. It's it's there to to show an image, yeah. right? And you're trying to keep up or you're trying to you're starting to feel bad about yourself. I'm not saying I do that. I'm just saying that's the trap a lot of people that cannot see through this can fall into, especially yeah. little boys and little girls and teenagers because they think they internalize it as reality and they don't have the maturity to say this is not real. Yeah. Somebody is posing this way. Exactly. You know? So th th that's that's the other question, though. Like, it could make when, them feel shitty about their own. Their own life. Yeah, exactly, and and their life is probably yeah. not shitty. No, no, they yeah. probably have a better life. No, because the issue is that they're growing up with this already being part of life. Like we did, when we grew up, we didn't have social media, we didn't have computers, we didn't have like internet didn't exist. None of this stuff existed, so we kind of grew up learning this, right? Yeah. Our mm -hmm. kids, though, however, were born in smack in the middle of this. Yeah. So. Yeah. By the time they reach the age where they understand, it's normal. For them, it's like, oh, Facebook, Twitter. Okay, yeah, let's post Instagram, you know, the twerking now, all that bullshit, the duck face. Uh, what, 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 what's, the, what's the twerking? And the one where they shake their ass. Fuck, I don't know what the hell they do. Uh, oh, that's, that, that's TikTok. No? Whatever it is. Yeah, I don't know. Whatever. Yeah. yeah. Um, and the question is, when they will reach that age where they will have their own social media, how it's going back to what you said, Chris, how are they going to realize what is real and what isn't and what can they, or can they not post? And I think we spoke about this last episode because just because they see someone else do it, they're going to want to replicate it. Uh, I mean, that, do you come in there and say, listen, parental control, whatever you want to post, let me see if it's cool. I'll let you put it. Or do you give them full liberty to do whatever they want? Well, this is, uh, you want to be protective, but not overprotective, right? Yeah. And I don't, I don't think anybody knows the balance. I don't know the balance. I just know that I'd rather say things how they are and say, hey, by the way, Yerasme, this and this, right? What do you think of this? Why do you think like, you know, you challenge the mind. So they just, you, you don't want them to just collect images and collect things and make up their own mind thinking that it's real. They, they, they have to understand that, yeah, it is real because you're on it. But at the same time, like use the critical thinking to understand what is exaggerated, what is what is not, what is real, what is posed. You know what I mean? I, I think slowly, slowly you can kind of give those little hints and, and yeah, they're smart can, enough to can. yeah. You teach them to rationalize it. Teach exactly, bravo, yeah. But you understand that the peer pressure has skyrocketed now with social media versus what it was when we were in school, you know? Yeah, like it's it's just in their face constantly through social media. Uh, back in the day, what was peer pressure, man? You go to school. I mean, you know, uh, most of the time you're in class, so nothing really much happens. So you have your recess, your mornings, your lunches, and maybe mm. after school, like just a couple of occasions yeah. where you're with all the other kids and you're doing whatever the hell you're doing, and that's pretty much it. Now it's like. Well, hold on, peer, peer pressure was a little more than that. The, I mean, you, like they had a whole week to work on you. All five, Monday to Friday, they worked on you every day. Yeah, 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 it's true. But it wasn't as constant as it is now. No. Well, it depends. If they have a device in their hand, you're right. But if you can manage their screen time, not as much. You know what's dangerous, guys, with this? And I, you could kind of see it in the millennials and... That would be a good episode, a good podcast to have on millennials, like Gen X, Gen Y, Gen Z, and like the differences, because there is differences. People are, well, people are, millennials are what? They're 35 year olds now? No. Millennials are the ones born uh, in 2000, 2000 and after. No. no anything no. under, uh, usually they talk about 80, 81, 82. We're, we're part millennials. We're, we're kind of millennials, really? but we're not. Yeah. Yes. People, people who turned around 17 years old in the year 2000, around there. So, the idea, the idea was. Oh, yeah. so, I thought they were much younger. Okay. Well, but millennials are a broader category. Then you have Gen X, Gen Y. You have all that in there. Well, even Gen but, X, because some some millennials that grew up with older siblings are considered Gen Xers. Yeah, but the Their thing influence is, are, are coming from the seventies and eighties. The people entering the workforce now, like if 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 you see how how they, they act and and how they behave, you're seeing that they haven't really developed the people skill where it needs to be. 
So the harsh reality is that they're, they're almost like inept socially. Well, and I'm going to tell you something I know about what you're saying is, yeah. is that I've recognized same age group. They're obsessed with video games, man. Yeah, they're obsessed with it. They have a full-time job. They have a relationship, but a large portion of their time is video games. They, it's, it's a must. There's, yeah. no, there's, no, there's no debate on this subject. They have to have their time. And, and, they're part of leagues. They're part of things, and, and it's important. Yeah, and, and, and they like hiding behind. their relationship as well. They like hiding behind technology. Like, I'll give an example. We're, we're in sales, so we're in technical sales. So we, we educate the client. It's very technical. So it, it's, it, it's, it's, a, it's, it's a certain skill set in order to be technical and selling, right? And you see that there are, it's a phone business. This is a, phone, this is a, a relationship business. You got to call. Hey, what's up? How are your kids doing? What did you do? Yeah. Relate. Remember things. Uh, remember what your client says and bring things up. Remember birthdays, whatever. Yeah. But you see the tendency of trying to hide behind the email, hide behind the technology. You know what I mean? It's so like rather, the, the, so rather than calling, they'll just send. You. Yeah, 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 yeah. Or or meeting up. Meeting up is like, oh my god, I have to meet up. Yeah. You know, because don't forget that they've learned how to socialize with high click text, so you don't L-O-L. get a lot of emotion. Yeah, LOL. Right? And yeah, the LOL. <laughs> and, and and this goes against like communication. Communicate. Most communication is nonverbal. So right. So you don't get to see the body. You don't get to see the eyes. What the body is doing. You don't see. You don't see the demeanor. You don't see anything. All you, you get is literal. You just get text. People. There are certain people that break up with other people on text. So we, what do you do? You don't learn skills. You don't learn people skills. You just you, learn how to avoid. You dodge, you do, you dodge, <laughs> you dodge uncomfortable, yeah, yeah, yeah. uncomfortable confrontation. Yeah. And then you throw that person in a, in a real life scenario and it's like, then you wonder why they cannot behave well. Oh, whatever. People have always done stuff like that. With, like, I mean, I remember, <laughs> uh, I remember finding, I was with a buddy of mine and uh, him, his, his, his brother and his dad had a really, really bad, cold relationship. And the brother left, but when he would write letters back home, that was so detailed and so, so open and so this and so that. But whenever they were in person, they really <laughs> looked at each other. It was uh, same thing. It's just that it was over letters, which took longer to receive and all that. Now we have. Uh, but but uh, let's go. Let's go to that protective thing that you said, Chris. Like how protective? Uh, like how, how much is enough? Like, how, how, how much can you protect your kids enough? Like, how, how, how protective can a parent be without being too protective, for example? Hmm. That's a good question. You're, you know what? You're too protective if by being protective you cause more harm than if you weren't. But you don't know, though. That's the thing. Uh, you do. You I'll, do. Give, I'll, give you, I'll give you an example. Uh, a, friend, <laughs> a, a, a friend of ours. We had gone uh, over the summer. We went to that barbecue there in the park there because of COVID and everything. We were allowed to whatever amount of people there. Uh, um, and we, we were there. And uh, after that, a couple of days later, uh, we went over their house. And they were telling us how it was an eye-opener to see you, for example, and Alex and uh, Gerasimo. And I'm like, what are you talking about? And they're like, I don't know, man. And like at some point, the kid, uh, you know, he got some blood on his shirt. And then he just uh, got on his bike from the park, uh, rode his bike all the way home by himself, changed and came all the way back. And he's like, I saw that. And I'm like, I freaked out. And they're telling me this. And I'm like, and, you know, the, your kids don't have that much of a difference. I mean, it's like, I think we're, you know, maybe two years. They're two years apart or something like that. Uh, two, three years apart. Um, and well, two, three years apart is a big difference. It's considerable. Yes, yes, it is. But the, to, to get their argument was that in order for your son to get to where he is today, you obviously didn't start yesterday, right? It yeah, started yeah. years, right, of you following him or giving him that space or whatever, you know, until the, the point where he is at now. And they realize that they're so far from that that they're actually, uh, they actually may be hurting the kid, right? Like it's not normal. Like it's not normal. Yeah, and, that's what I meant. That's yeah, what I meant. That's and, exactly then gave, what I meant. And, and then they gave an example of some other family that you know we don't have to mention over here, where you know it's even more extreme, right? They're, they're, like the parents are way more protective, and they're like, "Look, we have a choice. We either continue the way we're, we're continuing, and we're going to get to the point where that family member's at, which is a point where we don't want to get to, or we 
we have to, you know, cut the rope a little bit so that we can go towards closer towards the direction of Chris and Alex, <laughs> you know? So that's what they were thinking. Uh, and uh, so, yeah, I mean, you don't know. I mean, you don't know. They thought that they were doing the right thing. And then when they saw something different that they thought, hmm, wait, wait a second. Mm. Shit, my kid is so far from that. No. Maybe we should wake up a bit, you know? But I've gotten comments that I'm too loose. I trust too much and I shouldn't trust. And, you know, so, yeah, it's a matter of, like, perception, I guess. And it's a matter of, uh, of judgment. For me, the simple rule is, like, if he's able to do it, I don't do it for him. I won't well, do that's anything. That's the thing. It's about teaching them skills. And that's what you that's taught right. him there. You taught him that's skills. How you dirty your shirt, you rush back home, you come right back. You lock the yeah, door, that's it. you turn off the lights. You do what you got to do. That's right. And you, you know what? It's, you teach them that. And you know what? It's very important to, to teach your kids how to help themselves. Yeah. Helping, that's another part of being overprotective. You're too overprotective if you're constantly helping your kid and not helping your kid help himself. Yeah. The idea is the kid has to grow to face the world. Right. And, and by and by, like always, like pampering him and coddling and, and all that stuff, you think you're doing something good because it is noble, right? That's your your innate well, parenting the, that's telling you. At that you. level, you're protecting them to soothe your own uh, worries, man. It's not really about protecting them. Well, yeah, but I, you know what? It's how much harm are, are you doing? You know, because if 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 the kid is too overprotective, then you know what? It doesn't know how to deal with the problem three years down the line, and then you have to step in and and, and take care of it. And that permeates in, into colleges around universities where parents call and say, why did you give my kid that grade? A college, university? Yeah. You think I'm kidding? <laughs> you know, so I, I, think, I think this starts, this kind of mentality starts young. And you know what? That's why they talk about bulldozing parents and helicopter parents that are always around kids. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, don't, don't, don't do this, don't do that, don't do that. And there, there, there is reasons why we act like this or most people act like that. But you know what, man? I'm telling you, a good rule is like, if he could do it, let him do it. You know, it's also the, time, I, the times. I mean, look, we, we, we often compare growing up with our parents and us being parents now, night and day. Like, we used to leave the house really young. Our parents mm. were outside. There was nobody on the balcony looking at us or following us at the park. You're crazy. You know what I mean? Now, uh, you know, we're thinking about, like, see, we live next to the park and we're like, should we let the, should we let her go to the park and play? I'm like, fuck no. I don't know who the hell's passing through that park. Man, you crazy? Like, there's, yeah. this, there's, this, oh, there's this fear that is permanently there, you know, where you need to be there just in case, you know, just in case. Mm. And that never existed in the past. How many times have I had a discussion with friends you know, up north, you know what I mean? We, we have a place up north and, you know, we spent all our summers there. Really young, like eight, nine years old. We used to grab our towels, walk down to the, to the, to the lake, and we used to spend the day there. Very rare, rarely were our parents there. Like, I, I remember when we were younger, my, uh, there was always someone. But at some point, no, there weren't. You know, I mean, I had an older sister and, you know, my friend John was also older. So maybe at, the, at some point, the parents said, look, the older kids are there. It's not a problem, but we were still young. Like yeah. I remember very clearly being seven, eight years old and going by ourselves to the to the lake. But and but now, that George, that's a big thing, right? Because look look to your example, you're not gonna leave Emma go to the park because Emma's gonna be alone. Yeah, your dad let you go to the lake because it was the lake, but there was six of you. Yeah, yeah, but the same thing. It's also the 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 the, the factor of you know danger. Like I have a pool. And there's no way that I would let my kids go, even though, like, Emma swims well. I don't, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wish. That's different. Yeah, yeah. No way. Right. Like, I can't. I can't. Like, I panic. I'm like, the, the pool. Like, I, 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 I wish we didn't have it sometimes. I'm like, fuck. It's, like, just a stress. Like, summer comes around, and Emma's fine now. I don't mind her. But the little one, uh, not so mm, much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and imagine. So, when I think about that, I constantly think about us being young and just going to the lake by ourselves. Our parents, no fucking worries. No worries. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. we'll be back at 6 because we're eating. It's 6.30. And if we're not there, you can hear my father whistling <laughs> through the forest. <laughs> <laughs> Six blocks away. Yeah, you know what I mean? Um, so, different times. I don't know. I, I, different times. You know, and way different from like 1920s and 30s and oh, 40s. Even before, and, yeah, I mean, you're even before that. you're running a farm. The streets were also <laughs> full, of, full of kids, too. Yeah, there are less cars. I mean, were there less cycles around? Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. I mean, uh, 
I don't know. Do we worry more than our parents did? I, I, I don't want to believe that. I mean, you want to believe that your parents did worry. Uh, the, there was always that stress. Now that you're a maybe, parent... Maybe, you know, maybe because of uh, the communication back then, you didn't hear as much as the bad stuff. It didn't, it didn't scare you. Yeah, there's that too. Probably. And you know what? There's, there's a link to that. There's actually a graph to that. What you're alluding to, George, it's that... Crime has gone down. So if you draft, if, if, if you, you draft crime graph, it's going down. The curve is going down. But the exposure to the information is going up. Right. So what's happening is that you're being more exposed to things, but that yeah. doesn't necessarily mean that there's more of it. Yeah. You know, Just that's what you're saying. Yeah. 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 But yeah, I mean, but, but, but yeah. parents today are more overprotective in every kind of way. It's and it's not, it, it, yeah, it's not a bad thing. They, they, mean, they mean the right thing. The, the right intention is there. I just find that the harmful effects are not known to them because they think they're doing the right thing. You know, sometimes you have to be unkind to be kind. Yeah. And it, to date, unkind is perceived as no-no. George, I've heard uh, Panusi say it many times, tough love is still love. He's right. Yeah. Tough love is love. Love doesn't always come in, I love you. Love is also be careful. Hey, stupid, be careful. That's love too. <laughs> no, it, it is. It is. It's a different kind of love, but it's caring. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? It, it's disguised in caring, but it's still a form of love. Yeah. I mean, look, we, we grew up with kids that had overprotective parents, right? I mean, we saw how... We uh, made fun of them and bullied those kids, by the way. Yeah. And I mean, we, <laughs> uh, in, some cases, in some cases, we saw the, the effects it had later on in their life, right? When they got into high school or college, for example, where all... No, the, was, it, was it their parents or our bullying? Which one was it? No, no, I'm talking... No, 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 it was <laughs> more the parents. You know, like, we all, we all have the... We, we all know someone whose parents were overprotective and at yeah, some point, sure. they created some sort of rebellion when they got to, to college <sighs> or maybe even later. Yeah. Uh, which brings the question, since you know the effects, since you've probably seen when you were growing up, your friend or, you know, some other kid whose parents were overprotective and what that caused, why are you doing that now? Are you not aware that you're being overprotective? Is that the thing? Because it's not well, a choice, it's a reaction. You know, like I, 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 I have a few people that I know that, that were overprotective. Uh, when they were when they were younger, like I know what that's like, so I assume automatically in the back of my mind, I'm like, okay, I'm not gonna be that. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I'm worried as a parent. Obviously, I mean, you you want to you know protect your kids and you want to teach them the right things, but at the same time, I know where the limit is, right? I I know that past a certain point, it's like, look, I'm overdoing it. You know, like I'm aware of that. Yeah. Um, the question is that the parents that are now overprotective. I'm almost sure 100% that when they were younger, they knew someone around them that was probably overprotective. So they know. They're like, they know what it's like. Yeah. So, like I said, it's, it's not a strategy they chose. It's just a, an emotional reaction. To, to yeah, 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 yeah. It, 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 it's innate. And don't forget, and that, that's the difference between something like, I know this is another hot topic, but there's an innate and a big difference between a father and a mother, right? Yeah. The, the father thinks of it differently. He's not as attached to the kid as a mother. The mother is attached biologically. There's many ways attaching a mother to a kid, right? Yeah. And that's, that's normal. Like if a mother doesn't fall in love with her son, like this, she's so in love with her kid and that's going to prevent her from throwing it in the garbage because it can get tough, <laughs> you, right? So moms have that. They're, they're attached. There's an umbilical cord. We don't see it. We cut it, but it's still there. Yeah. So the, you know that the mom is there to, to nurture 100%. And the balance comes with the dad that says, hey, go, go further. You can do it. Yeah. Don't worry. He's going to get hurt. He's going to get up. And that balance is a good thing. That balance is a good thing. Yeah. Unless, unless the dad is uh, <laughs> is because also from, because I don't want to I don't want to sound like like uh, I'm trying to choose a, a sex I'm not I'm just saying that you tend you you tend to get more overprotective moms than overprotective dads because that is the role of the mom to overprotect right. and nurture you know what I mean and sometimes that is not good and and you see it and I I've seen it I've seen it with with my like in my experience with certain things and it's it's I know that the effects are not going to be good because you're not letting your kid face the problems. And then you go in and you, and you face all the problems, you solve all the issues. And then the kid, you know what, you know what happens with the kid? Doesn't want to leave. 
and he doesn't want to deal with problems because you're there solving them. You know and what? That's how you. That's how you get people at university saying, "I'm going to go see the director." <laughs> yeah, because but, I need because I need an adult to solve my problem because yeah. I'm not able to solve it. I've never solved any, yeah. so I need to go get an adult. Yeah. And this is another this is another adult going to get another adult <laughs> to solve the problem. No, I'm serious. <laughs> you know what I mean? Thank you. This started from somewhere. This, this somehow in a home in a household. I need an adult. Was, I need an adult. I need an adult to solve it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go get the coordinator. Yeah. You know? uh, you know why I'm laughing? Because I remember one of the first times we went up north when we were teenagers uh, we, we, for the weekend. We were like 16, I think. Whoa, wait, don't, don't share too much, man. You have no, to be no, careful. no, 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 no. This, uh, it's related to the topic. And it's George, because George is a bit older than me. So I remember we went up north. The next morning, he calls home. And he's like, yeah, I, uh, I'm up north with some friends. Yeah, okay, bye. Like 24 hours later. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like the day after, my father would have killed me, man. It's like, you didn't come home to sleep. Where the fuck are you? <laughs> calling me like nothing's happening. <laughs> uh, that is funny. <laughs> like a completely different story. Yeah, but G- G- George had a different upbringing too. He, he matured faster because he, he hung up with older people. Yeah. yeah the, it, it depends. If you, if you hang out with younger people, third, you act young. I was the third man. My parents, like, sometimes they're like, have you seen my son today? I'm not sure when was last time I saw him. Yes, when was Tuesday? <laughs> yeah, that, I remember. I, mean, I think that was the first time uh, that I was really exposed. To I'm like, what do you? What do you mean? You're just calling your parents? Like they didn't know you left to begin with. <laughs> yeah, man. I grabbed the bag. I walked out of the house. <laughs> No, but it's true, man. It's true. You have to. You have to let your kids make their mistakes. You have to let them grow. You have to. Move. They have to hurt. Like you know what I mean? It's like, like I don't want to sound pessimistic now and bring like make it all. It's warm. about it's about being desensitized. We, but yeah, but it, it it is that. It's let them have the struggle. You learn you need, from the you struggle. You need the exposure. You need to yeah, you need to yeah. to fall and come back from it. And and, and you know what? Let me rephrase because you asked me the first question. You asked me, how do you know, right? Yeah. It's, it, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to change my answer. You know because you need to let them go out and get hurt because that's the way to get hurt. Because if they don't get hurt with experience, I think by overprotecting them, you're hurting them more. Yeah. I think that's where the distinction is. The, the, the experience that cause, causes hurt is real. And that's a learning lesson, right? Uh, you're pretty much saying that the sooner you expose them to learning or failing or... Uh, or hurting, yeah. Or hurting, the, the faster they're going to get to deal with it, the better it's going to be for their... Exactly, because when they get hurt and it's real, it's, it's, it's real. It's, you know what I mean? When you overprotect them and you don't let them get hurt, you're hurting them in the long run, but it's a silent hurt. Yeah. But it's still there. Yeah. It's still there. You know, sometimes I, I, I wonder because... You know, obviously, your 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 wife is a teacher. My sister is a teacher, and I've heard stories like fucking retarded stories, like ridiculous. <laughs> I, I, I I often uh, and don't I, make me. I can't, I can't, I can't. No, 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 no. I don't want you to say anything because obviously, no, no. That's not the point. The point is that sometimes I try to put myself in their shoes to 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 kind of understand how they deal with these fucking crazy parents, you know what I mean? That think they can teach better than they can. My sister's told me so many stories, man. You know, parents walking in telling, you know, maybe you should try this and maybe you should try that. I remember like before we got married, like when we were still living at home and I'll tell her, why don't you go to her work tomorrow or the day? Just show up to her work, to her office and tell her how to do her work. You know what I mean? Do that. Yeah, yeah. That's a whole different topic now. This is, this is this is this is another hot one. You know what it's I a mean? Hot one. It's yeah. Like uh, parents, uh, you know, uh, and it's funny because yesterday was it yesterday? Yeah, yesterday was the first teacher parent thing with my with Emma, with her <laughs> kindergarten. We get this link. It was uh, Zoom. So my oh. wife's like, "We have a parent teacher thing." I'm like. What? Why they do that in kindergarten? She's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, why? Who gives a shit? It's fucking like kindergarten. You know what I mean? like, who cares? I don't care. You know. What I mean? Anyway, we sit down. Literally, the teacher spoke for ten minutes. Uh, Joanna laughed with her, and they're like, ah, ha, ha, ha. Everything's going well. Blah, blah, blah. And then uh, she's like, okay. So you have any questions? I'm like, we're like, no, thank you. Okay, bye, ciao. Twelve what minutes. It? it was just enough. Thank you. I'm like, why would I care? Like, you're there. Do your job. 
It just makes yeah, sure. but that that look. You, obviously, they don't need to talk to Hold me. On, tell I'll, you I'll tell you why they have these meetings because I had the same meeting today. <laughs> Kindergarten. But my son, <laughs> yeah. and he's a disaster. <laughs> In class, yeah. Disaster. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> which one? Philip. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, he's very stubborn. He he likes to drag, uh, take all her attention away from everybody else. Really, but, Philip? Maybe he has yeah, a crush yeah, on her. Yeah. I think he has a crush on her. Probably. No. <laughs> but, but from from day one till now, he's improved. She told me he has the biggest improvements, but he's he's got ways to go. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And it was important for me to know. Yeah. Because okay. he, he's he's quite stubborn. He's got a massive ego, you know. So he makes her job pretty pretty yeah, different. Yeah. yeah. Look, man, it's 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 their first step into society. It's like that that little mini society that. No, but I mean, someone like her situation with with, with my son, she's gonna need my assistance at some point. Yeah. Your wife and you won't won't need to assist her his teach you know her teacher because yeah, she's not having these yeah, difficulties with it. I get it. Yeah. So yeah. I need to get I need to be engaged. Yeah, right. there is value. There is a little value in that. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't you're need to last say, long. You're saying from yeah. the perspective of a kid that's having a, an easy transition. Yeah. Yeah. So that's why. So I'm playing devil's advocate, but I'm living. It. Yeah, yeah, no, no, I, I see it. I get because yeah. my with with Alex, it was it was a different story. It was exactly, yeah. Like he was a, he was a dream child. Every even now, all you hear about how great of a kid he is, how great of a kid he is. He's such a great kid. So he does all he can. He listens. He does this. He's a dream child. He's a bitch. I'm like, okay, no. Yeah, man. That's because I baptized him, man. <laughs> he, he spat on him right in the mouth. <laughs> <laughs> uh, like what, what, what else are you gonna get, man? What else are you gonna get? It's pretty much expected. Look, he, 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 got, he got the magic touch, bro. It was uh, got the Chris, magic touch. Chris, yeah, Chris lathered him up there. <laughs> You're welcome, George. You're welcome. Yeah, I chose wisely. <laughs> you did. You did. You did. Yeah, I baptized the and, and, and George. Much, a much more to come. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. <laughs> Only greatness to come, huh? Uh, that's what, but, uh, but yeah, yeah there, like, there is some, uh, there is some necessity. It's just, you're taking it for granted. That's yeah, maybe, but it's also, I mean, look, my mom, my mom, uh, works at a, a pre-K, like a preschool. And at some point th- they changed this whole policy on having report cards and documenting everything for the kids. And to me, it's like, nobody cares, man. They're dropping off their kid. Like, at least that's how I see it. Yeah, but that's to give value. They want to give value. Take you know? care of my kid and just make sure he or she is alive when I come to pick them up at the end of the day. My mom working over that. Again, your, your mom's being asked to follow kids because there's obviously kids that are, that no, are going to stick is, out in the negative way that they have to flag early. You just like happen for, to be part of a kid who doesn't need these flags. No, no, but for every kid, they had to prepare a file. Like, like they had the thing, okay, like pictures. Here, they, they, this is what we're doing. Uh, she has good uh, motor skills, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, they, they got to justify the service, man. Dude, I don't remember having that when I was there. No, because you, you know. <laughs> you know, you know they no, they did Way less, man. You know what yeah. I mean? What the, what the hell? But everything changed, man. Everything changed. And I think, I think, um, I don't know who was saying this. I don't remember who it was. But they attribute this a lot to two things. One, without going into the details, one is parents obviously have a lot less kids than before. So I'm comparing to like families of 24, 15, 12. That means what? That means there were 15 kids in the house. So there was competition within them. They were kind of raising each other and you couldn't keep up and overprotect all 15 kids because then you, you die, right? You, you don't have the stamina to do that. Yeah, but also their attention span was just, look at, look, after the third. No, but kid, like, what, what, <laughs> what I'm saying is that there was a lot, right? It wasn't like one or two. When you have one or two, you're more careful, right? There's more to risk, right? You want to be educated because you only have two shots. They only have two, three shots to be successful. When you have 15, you can't keep up. It's like whatever happens. Yeah. And then the second, the second point is we're having kids a lot later. Yeah. So the, the 18 year old or the 14 year old back in the day that would have, or the 15 year old that would have the kid, they were growing together with their kids. So they didn't have the maturity to like really overprotect them because they were both doing some growing. Right, right, right. You know what I mean? Now you're having your kid at 40, you're a 40 year old adult. <laughs> yeah, you, 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 right. You, 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 have you, have life, yeah, you have a whole Dude, life experience. You're scared. You're mature. You, 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 you see fear. You, 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 you see lack too much. 
<laughs> That's exactly. An That's an interesting yeah. point. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So it's like the, there is reasons why. You know what I mean? But it's, it's, it's you know what? It doesn't mean it's, it's, it's a good thing. And you know what? If we keep going, you know, we can't be having kids at 50 or 60. I know people that have had kids at 60. Yeah. Like I know I can, I can give you a name right now. And it's like uh, that, I, I that's, that. that's, that's, that's a, a difficult decision. <laughs> no, but you know what I mean. Man. George, take a second and think about that, bro. When you're 60, where are you going to no, be? No. And are you no, going to be no. thinking of having children? No, 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 no. <laughs> no, it's, it's, it's uh, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, yeah. It's like 60, bro. Dude, you're planning your kids leaving the house. <laughs> you know, it's like, look, dude, you're, you're, you're fine. Let me be alone finally, you know? <laughs> and then you have a. <laughs> Yeah, no, no, no. I have a friend. Uh, uh, we we saw each other last week, and he told me that his wife is pregnant. Were you guys wearing masks? Yeah, we're wearing masks. <laughs> and he's like, uh, "My wife is pregnant." I'm like, "That's good news." He's like, uh, "Yeah, okay, yeah." Good. Like, they thought, they thought, they thought, they thought, sure, thought, if you say so. They thought, you know, they thought they were gonna stop at two, so he has two boys, right? And from what he says, they've been driving his fucking life like he's miserable. He's like, "Fuck you." Yeah, yeah, I can't. They drain so much energy. Fucking kids. Fucking boy. How old are they? Um, one I think is uh, they're ten and eight. Something like that. Maybe somewhere around. There. Uh, this is my experience with the people I know in my well, surroundings. Let, let, let's, well, let's, okay. Let's, so he's like, ah, fucking COVID, man. What do you want? Man? You know, this is it. This is the consequences of COVID. I'm like. <laughs> This guy's guy home all day fucking. That's what he does. Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> he's home. Wait, he's a, he doesn't know how to pull out. What's wrong with this guy? And then, and then I'm like, uh, oh, do, do, do you know what uh, you're, you're having? I'm like, oh, man, I hope it's a little girl. It's going to be nice. You know, a little at the end, the last one, like nice little thing. He's like, no, bro. It's another fucking boy. <laughs> oh, <laughs> like it's over. <laughs> There's gonna be a generation of baby COVIDs. You know what this means? He needs another ten years before he can buy another couch. Oh, he's, been, he's been waiting to get rid of this couch for ten years. He has to wait ten more. He's guys, two more time. Guys, my couch is not moving yet. I, 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 I tell you what I wanted to say before. Yeah. People that have one kid in my surroundings now, now my surroundings, like now, people that have one kid, ecstatic. People that have two kids, happy. People that have three kids, a little miserable. Four and up, suicidal. <laughs> it, 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 it's at the point where they're not doing well. Anybody that has four plus kids is not doing well. They're not okay. <laughs> oh, man. You know? So it's like, you know, it's, it is it is what it is. I have a cousin that has five, but he's he lives out in Bedford. So, <laughs> so, his, wi so his wife is suicidal. No, man. They're like the happiest <laughs> fucking couple ever. They love their life. Oh, you know what? You know what? We go you over. need. Yeah. That's a guy we need to interview. Let me ask you. Let me <laughs> no, ask no, no, you. If, cousin, if no, he no. has five, if he has five and he's happy, he knows what he's doing. No, no, no. My, no, my cousin wants to kill people, but his wife is. Uh, my, my wife is. My wife is. Uh, his wife. Just random strangers. His wife is. Uh, his wife is living on a cloud. She's like, ah, life is good. Good for her. Awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. Man. That is that's good. that's a nice story. But they live outside. Like they live in the farm towns, man. It's like, uh, you know. They're, they're it's not, that's not what that's not what it is it's, it's a huge perspective it's a big role man. Man. No, it is perspective a, but you know I think it plays a big role because they're growing up the way that we grew up they're never in the house they're outside they're playing they're interacting with all the other kids in the neighborhood like can you imagine having five kids in a fucking city man in park x oh I know, I, I know, I know, a, a I know a couple a like that. Uh, for sure, they, they probably exist, but it must be stressful. Like they, they have, I know a couple like that, and I'm telling you is sometimes I wake up in the night worrying for them. I wake up at night <laughs> out of nowhere. I wake up and I'm like, how are they yeah. doing? You know? <laughs> <laughs> that, <laughs> that's how bad it is. Are you worried about the parents and the kids? Everyone, everyone. I just get up and I'm like, oh, how are they doing? How are they doing? Okay, they're doing okay. <laughs> yeah, in the city, gee, oh, oh, man. You can't do that anymore. You can't. Do that. You, you can't. You know what? Everybody's managing. Everyone's doing it their own way. Everybody's doing a trial and error experiment. <laughs> there's no. And you know what? Yeah. And it's like you know what? Yeah, exactly. There's no. There's no good. There's no formula. 
There's no formula. And you just, he, 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 I, I don't, again, I don't remember who said it, man. Man, I like giving credit to the people who say this stuff. But it's like, just try not to cause irreversible damage. That, try, your that's, best. try your best not to fuck it up, you know? That's it. <laughs> what is considered irreversible damage? <laughs> irreversible damage, man. A 35-year-old like, <laughs> virgin who plays too much video games. You know, it's like, you, know, you got to be careful. But you know what, guys? The 35-year-old virgin, I mean, we're laughing at them. But keep in mind that there's people that grew up in the 70s and 80s in that rock phase that are still there today. Like, we know a couple, you know what I mean? It's like, they think it's uh, rock and roll, bro, yeah. It's like, dude, it's 2020. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about, you know? Yeah. <laughs> the yeah, skinny jeans and the long hair, it's like, it's got to go, man. Back to irreversible damage. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. No, all, I'm saying is that, uh, all I'm saying is that every generation probably has these cases you know I don't know Oh, of course man of course you can't get this right you can't get this right but I think we know enough not to do the obvious you know the things that obviously fuck up your kids you know just stop doing that yeah. you know stop doing the obvious things that are gonna mess up your kids let's start there you know it, co- it comes back to how did you know <laughs> because when you're when you're parenting a kid and you think that what you're doing is the right thing yeah very often you're blind to that's whatever, conscientiousness whatever and awareness maybe, yeah whatever yeah. maybe hurting your kid you don't know you don't very know. hard that's very hard george it's very hard it's very hard to be mindful and aware at that level because don't forget and that, that's a very good point you have man because people, you know what? You always think you have the answers. Obviously, if you're doing something, you're doing it because you think you're right. And if and somebody doesn't point out that what you're doing is wrong, well, you keep doing what you're doing. And even when someone points out that what you're doing may be wrong, you don't necessarily listen. It's like, what the fuck he's talking about? Or not? Yeah, you're, exactly. You don't listen. You don't listen. Yeah, yeah. It's my business, you know what I mean? But that's critical thinking, though, man. And if you read the guys that talk about that, it's like it's more important to notice that you're wrong than to try and prove that you're right. Yeah. That's, that's where the learning happens. But, uh, yeah, how, do, how are you going to tell? Like, you don't tell your friends. I don't tell my friends. Do you tell your friends, hey, maybe you shouldn't do that? No. Or maybe you should try this? No. Unless they ask. And even then, you're reluctant. You Look, might, I, you know, I, 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 yeah. I, I've had conversations with uh, with a friend, but it was more couple related. Nothing to do with kids, though. It, it, I feel very uncomfortable because you know that you're not perfect yourself. So why should you be giving advice to others, right? I mean, look, exactly, figure it out. Exactly. Figure it out, man. I don't know. I, mean, I don't ask me advice. You want you want to ask me how I change my diaper? I'll I'll, I'll tell you how I do it. Like that, I can tell you. But how? Well, yeah, but you you always come from your experience. You yeah, can always like, say this has yeah. worked for me, and yeah. this is what I'm doing. Yeah. yeah. But even that, sometimes I hold back. It's like, look, look, I, yeah. don't, I don't want you, I don't, don't, don't take my advice, man, because it might not work. Uh, I mean, you know, so, yeah. No, we I get have, phone calls. I get phone calls with Alex, too. I have a lot of people asking us stuff. And sometimes, you, sometimes parenting even if they wise, ask you, parenting yeah, parenting-wise, what are you, relationships, this, yeah. that, you know. And uh, it, it is tough sometimes. Because sometimes, you know, what that phone call comes and what that phone call is looking for is just – a pair of ears. Yeah. They, yeah. You know what I mean? That, that's what they're looking for. So they don't want to be told. They just call because they need, they need somebody to talk to and they need you to hear the problem. And sometimes the answer is... Unless, are, unless they're asking you straight up. Yeah, yeah. There's yeah, that too. Yeah. Sometimes the, the, the answers they're looking for is just a validation of what they've been thinking about too, right? So, yeah, like, and they tend to say things from their perspective too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People tend to say things from the way they want you to hear it. To get the answer from you that they want to get. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. So, and most people, most people, right, don't care about your problems. Like, like 80, 80% don't care about your problems. The other 20% are glad you have them. <laughs> that's true. And it's not them. Yeah, yeah that's what it is. Yeah. <laughs> Look, every, everyone has issues, man. Everyone has issues. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're everyone. all working on something. <laughs> everyone. You're either what was the saying? You either you're either going into a crisis, you're in a crisis, or you're coming out of a crisis, and that's going to keep repeating forever. Yeah. Imagine, yeah, you're forever. Coming, you're coming out of a crisis, but meanwhile you're going into another one. Yeah, yeah. you sometimes there, there's two, there's two in the same time. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, no, I I, I usually just don't get involved with other people's business, honestly, especially when it comes to kids. Like, I don't I don't care. 
I really don't care, you know. What do you mean? What do you mean you don't care? You no, don't I, care about I, I, I mean, I don't care. I care, but I don't, I, I'm not at that point where I'm adamant about, adamant about giving my opinion. Okay, you mean to others? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah but you think about this. You reflect on this, right? You yeah, ponder the yeah, ideas yeah, yeah, yeah. in your house. No, very yeah, often yeah. we talk with my yeah. wife. We're like, uh, did you see that? Uh, like, what do you, think? you have to. Like, you have to. You know what I mean? You you, have yeah, to. yeah, I think you have to. Okay, good. We're, we're normal. <laughs> Thanks. You have to. You have to. I think you have to. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, we, we question. We question a lot. Like, we see other kids around. We're like, oh, okay. Oh, that's good. Like, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I don't know if it's the right thing to do, but uh, I guess that's also within the learning curve too, right? You learn from it, is, it is. It is normal, you man. Stuff and uh, you take the bad stuff. You, know? you can't. You can't just. You can't go throughout this whole thing not thinking about it. You think there's parents that don't? Yeah. I think there's a lot of people that don't think about it. I've seen. I've seen people like. It's different when you make a bad decision or you make a mistake and then you correct it. If you make the same mistake fourteen times. After the, the, the second, third time, you're making a decision. You're, you're making a conscious decision. Right. You're making the conscious decision yeah. to keep doing what you're doing. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, and, yeah. And it's like you're not learning from it. That means that you're in almost autopilot. So you're not thinking. You're on autopilot. Yeah. I don't want to give examples. I know you're. I know you're. <laughs> no, you're no, dying. No, no. You're dying for an example. No, I just don't I, want to give it. I, I don't because we we all know the same people, and I don't want to expose that. No, no, no. It's not about that. I'm just saying <laughs> that you ask me if people like that exist. I think people like that exist, and sometimes they need a nudge. Yeah. Sometimes they need a reality. And you know what? When you're when you're too busy making a living and you're not thinking about this stuff, well, it's gonna catch up. But you, you can easily fall into the trap of you're too busy. Yeah to think about it or you're too tired to talk about it or you know what you don't feel like talking about it or sometimes you know you you've labeled the problem but you don't want to find the solution because you're more comfortable with the problem and you're not as comfortable with the solution because you don't want to implement it yeah like, there's shit like that i don't know i think about this stuff a lot yeah i think i think we all do i think we all do yeah. and honestly when you said that you know you gotta you gotta kind of expose them to this problem i and i don't know if like I, I kind of feel guilty sometimes that I, I force myself not to because I just don't want to get into people's business. Even though I see that something wrong is happening, deep down, I kind of tell myself that it's it's not my place. And I feel bad sometimes. It's like because you, you want to tell people something because you know that it's the right thing. But at the same time, I, I, I rarely keep my mouth shut. You know? <laughs> you rarely keep your mouth shut. You, yeah, you, you, you go out, eh? Yeah. I, I can't. I don't know. Like I, I, I prefer- only only if I feel it, it's it's it has to be said. It's coming from the right place. Yeah, I, I prefer coming home and just talking about it with my wife. <laughs> <laughs> Did you prefer, he he <laughs> prefers the gossip. gossip. George prefers the gossip. It's like no, it's not gossiping because for me in my mind, there's like a very fine line between uh, helping and giving your opinion, and other people either accepting it or thinking like, "Who the fuck are you?" You know what I mean? And I don't know. I mean, uh, I don't want to. I don't want to be that person who yeah, the yeah. other person considers as though uh, you think you know it all and you're here to tell me what to do and fuck off, kind of thing. You know. I I, I, I agree with. You. I I I used to be more like George. I think. Yeah. Uh, Panusi. Yeah. Or I would say more. I would give my opinion even even if nobody asked for it. Yeah. Now I do the opposite. Yeah. 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 And and it it's 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 a bit what you're saying. And it's weird. It's weird because sometimes you you feel like you have to kind of intervene, right? You you feel like what's happening is really bad, and you need to kind of tell your friend or your buddy or you know, like, dude, let's have a conversation here. Yeah, but for me, you know what it was? It was trying to change the outcome, and that is a difficult task. Yeah, because yeah. you cannot really change the outcome. Yeah. So that 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 mm-hmm. would that would frustrate me. Like, I'll give you an example. Person X comes. I have this problem, this problem, this problem. Okay, I think you should do this, this, and this. And I'm pretty sure that if you implement this, this, and this, you'll get this and this result, which is the result you want, but you cannot have the way you're doing things. Right. So if, that, if they don't start implementing those things, I would get mad. Right. Because I'm trying to control the outcome. I, I want the result for them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then once you realize that you mature a little bit and you're like, you can't control that result. Yeah. 
You just tell them what you think they should do. And then later on, you realize, fuck it, they're not going to do it anyway. <laughs> so maybe you're right. Yeah. Maybe you just say nothing. Yeah. So now, yeah. now what you do is you gossip about it with your wife in bed, and then you take bets on what the outcome might be. <laughs> no, but, but you know what I do with Alex? We take it home, and, 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 and then we talk about it. And it could yeah. be a, a three-hour conversation. It's like a nice case study, too. You're, yeah, 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 you reflect, yeah, you reflect on, on it, yeah. No, but there, there have been a couple cases where it, it was... Well, if I see red flags I and I think I could help a friend out, yeah. I, I'm, I'm going to do it. Look, just, I, I, just like, I, in look, a friendly way and in a non-offensive way. And a lot of the times it's just you need to play devil's advocate for the person that you're usually complaining about. Look, I, I've... So I, you rather I, tell the truth even if it hurts? No, just try to get them to look at things from a different mm-hmm. perspective. Like, you're standing on this side and you're saying your story. Now stand on this side, say that story. What do you think about that compared to your situation? Yeah. And, and, and is it entirely what you're saying... How you're affected? How about that person's affected as well? Look, yeah, yeah, I've done it, but only when it came to like a. Relationship. I always play devil's advocate. You guys know. Yeah, yeah. I'm always, you know, I just, no, but, but you, you have your own way of doing it with, with with with, and I think most people won't take offense because you're raw, but you're to the point, and it comes from a good place. Sometimes you, you'll try to say something. I'm not talking about you, George. I'm saying in general, sometimes you might say something, and the way it's people perceived. Get yeah, they might get offended. Then, then you've done. Now the wall is up. So now yeah, the wall yeah. is up, and now forget it. It's like you've done worse. Just, you, now you won't hear about it, and you don't know if you should worry more. Yeah, you've you've made it worse. You've like, made look, it worse. I, I've gotten involved, but when it came to like a relationship, uh, nothing to do with kids. Like like I said before, it's not my place. But with relationship, cool, cool. Tell us. Who? No, no, no. It's not, it's name, not, no. last name. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but but even there, even even for me to actually get to the point where. You know, I, I told, uh, you know, I told them to go grab a coffee kind of thing because there were certain things that I had to kind of, you know, bring up. It took, all, it took a long time. Like, it took a long time, you know? Uh, but, uh, yeah. Th- thankfully, they, they, they appreciated it. But when it comes to family stuff, like to, 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 to kid stuff, no, it's not my, it's, it's not my I can't. I, no, I, I, kids, I never, 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 never. Can't, you know? Kids never, you know what? Their parents are too emotional about it. Yeah, people love their kids too much, and their kid, everything the kid does is like almost a reflection about them, right? So it's like you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't talk about other people's kids. Like the you other, just don't, you just don't do it. Like last oh. week, last weekend, my sister came over. Came over. She yeah, even fine. even in those in those situations, a lot of times I'll I'll show her people how their kids' problems are average problems. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So, so yeah. Don't feel so bad about it. There's many like you. Just try to find them because they can help you more than I can. Mm. Last last so. week, uh, last weekend, my sister came by with uh, the kids and everything. They, they stayed outside. They didn't come in. I mean, we have to distance. So the, the kids. <laughs> uh, the little them. caveat. You heard that? <laughs> yeah. So. Yes. Yeah. He has to give us the warning. Guys, yeah. I mean, yeah. So the kids were running in the park, whatever. So we're just talking uh, on the driveway. And at some point, her young one comes in, in, in the garage and he sees uh, Emma's electric car. You know? So I'm like, oh, fuck, no, man. You know, just don't take it out now, man. Like, uh, it's, it's not that I don't want the kid to ride. It's just that when one kid starts and all of them are going to fucking work. So I'm like, oh, the battery's not working. You know, the battery's not working. But oh the fuck? What a liar. Yeah, of you course. Lie, of course you, you, lied, you lied to your nephew. Yeah. But the fucker figured it out, bro. <laughs> it was like, ah, oh, no, it works. Look. <laughs> But you know, now you're the uncle that lies. <laughs> that lies, yeah, yeah. But but who doesn't let me use his stuff? So, so, so he takes off with the car, and he's the younger one, right? And he's much more agile, and he's actually doing a good job, right? So my sister turns around, she's like, "Oh, no, I hope the older doesn't see him." I'm like, "Ah, oh, now whatever. What are you gonna do? Who cares?" She goes, "No, no, no, no. You understand? He can't do that." <laughs> I'm like, "What are you talking uh-huh. about?" He goes, "There's no way. Like, he can't. He probably can't drive like this guy." I'm like. You sure? Like he's old. Like she's like, no, no. Like this kid's next level. I'm like, come on. You know. So the kid's taking it around. I'm like, okay, whatever. They were getting ready to leave anyway. So he takes it around and he comes back and he puts it in the garage. Or actually, before they get, came into the garage, the old one sees him. He's like, okay, okay, okay. Me, me. My turn. My turn. So my sister's looking at me. <laughs> I'm like, whatever. Just let the kid ride it. You know. He rides it and bro- he's going back and forth. Like he's just playing with the thing. You know. <laughs> Back, forth, back, forth. He ends up in the garage. He somehow turns the car back and forth. Bang! Right in my car. <laughs> <laughs> she knew. I wanted to run and kick she, him in the head, man. She, she knew. <laughs> she knew. 
it's like fuck she had, warned you yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, like i had to, i had to hold it in i had to like, fuck you, you, you well, not, break everything now i know what you're buying for christmas to her yeah <laughs> buy, buy that buy the car <laughs> don't come here and use mine <laughs> break your own cars in your own garages you know? uh, yeah yeah so so yeah, yeah it's touchy, <laughs> touchy stuff, uh, delicate balance. Yeah, no. yeah, you don't. Uh, it's almost like when, when, when. It's quite tricky. It's it, yeah, and it's like you have to be, you have to do it in a way, the way you would treat a pregnant woman that you think is pregnant, but you don't want to say anything. <laughs> <laughs> you try to figure it out. Yeah, without that, asking. That's <laughs> how you think of other kids' problems. You think <laughs> you, you, you observe. You, you know, yeah. you, you 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 need you need to be given like right. Like you now go ahead. We all we all somebody know. has to give you permission before you start opening your mouth. We all we all know that one guy <laughs> that that congratulated a woman. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's the same guy. That's a, that's that. It's it's not we all know a guy. It's that same guy has done it twenty times. <laughs> <laughs> Just doesn't understand. He doesn't get it. Shut your mouth, bro. Unless unless the woman is fucking in labor. Yeah. <laughs> in the no, supermarket or whatever. And, and before lying. you say anything, if she tells you she's pregnant, you, you're like, are you sure? <laughs> You don't look it. You don't look it. You're fooling me. You don't look yeah. it. Yeah. She tells you, friend, oh, what? I barely noticed. You look fantastic. Yeah. Oh, man. That's oh, so funny. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's happened, man. It's happened. And the opposite happens, too. Like, you know, when, like, when somebody, like, let's say somebody loses, like, 100 pounds. And you're like, oh, wow, man. Fuck, you lost a lot of fucking weight. Man, you look so fucking different. I can't believe it. The guy's thinking, man, how bad did I fucking look before? You know, like, <laughs> yeah, no, but I think in general, <laughs> in general that's usually seen as a compliment because the person knows that they look. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. Really, people get that upset yeah. about that. How do they get it. upset? They, they probably, they're probably not happy about. They're not happy about it. How people if want if to perceive lost, them. If, but, I, if uh, I lost two hundred pounds, look, man, you got, you got to be. There, it's, like, it's, it's all about self awareness. You know, way, you're fucking obese, you man. Way less you than lo- your daughter. No, but you, yeah, was, you lose 200 pounds. Someone says, oh, dude, congratulations. You look so different. Good for you. Why the hell would you take that bad? It's like, yeah, thanks. Man. Well, I, I, I wouldn't. We wouldn't. I'm just saying people like that exist, too. Yeah. yeah. yeah people, people lose 100 pounds and hope nobody notices. <laughs> <laughs> I hear that all the time. Yeah. <laughs> Why? People want the compliments, man. We're back to the Facebook pictures. Guys, I, I, I know we're going somewhere else now, like on a tangent, but... I've actually heard, I've heard this. I'm going to go have a little procedure done, like a little surgery, but I don't want it to show. But I don't want, think about it. You don't listen to what I'm saying. I want to have a surgery done, but I don't want it to show. I don't want people to notice that I had it. Are you talking about plastic you, you, surgery? Or are you talking yeah, about- yeah, you guys don't think, no, I'm talking about plastic surgery. Yeah, yeah, you want to go alter something, but you don't want it to be noticeable. Why would you fucking do it? Because they want to be perceived that somebody was born with natural beauty. Yeah. No, but it's like if they've seen you before and they see you after and they don't notice anything, nothing has changed. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, this yeah. is messed up. Yeah, yeah. yeah that, for, their I mean? own, for their own vanity. It, it's only for, that's it. It's only for them. Think about it. They're telling you, I want to have this done. I want to fix this. I don't like it. But I want to have it done. I don't want people to notice. <laughs> I want to feel better when I look in the mirror. <laughs> there you go. That's what it is. Yeah. Sorry, I had to bring that up. I just yeah. I thought you guys. Were, I thought you guys would react to it more. It's also For me, terrible. It sounds so bad in it, my ears. It it, yeah, it, just, it, it screams. It, it screams crazy. It's terrible. Yeah. You know? But think about it. If you wanted to do plastic surgery, yeah, you wouldn't want people to notice. You. So why do it? Because you know that the change is there, but it's just you want it. You want it to be the least noticeable so that people can think, oh. You want it to be subtle. Uh, fucking Chris fixed his nose. <laughs> yeah. Chris fixed his nose. Yeah, right. It's, it's, it's like this. George's like, I don't know what George did, but fuck, he looks amazing. But I don't know what it is. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Was, hey, are you going to show us your body? Are you going to show us your bald head? positive attitude. <laughs> <laughs> can, we, can, can we see the bald head? I want to see the bald oh, head. Oh, yeah. It, it, I reached that point, guys. I got. Uh, yeah. I love it. It's sexy. You're still not ready. 
No, no, it's good. Look, look, yeah. look. You gotta Step go down one. to that. You gotta hit that zero, man. No, man. Yeah, Step one. Is, yeah, not yet. He accepted baldness. He accepted. I accepted. It. It's done. Hit it's a deal. That zero is gonna look even better. You think so? I, I have like to, it. I have to get used to this first, and then maybe eventually. You'll never you're, get you're used not. To you're it. not. You're not at zero. You don't shave you. I'm at zero on the machine. Oh, the machine. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I shave sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes when I when did I you, wanted did, to. Did your daughters want to touch it? Did they want to touch it? You know when I I I shaved it. They didn't even notice. No, no. (laughs) (laughs) It was a small procedure. (laughs) (laughs) That's a good one. I I, I shaved I had last Friday uh, during the day. So when we went to pick up Emma from school, I had a cap on. So I go, I have a surprise for you. It's in my hat. She's like, oh, show me, show me. So I took it out, dude, her face. It went from (laughs) happy to like. What? No! What? <laughs> Just what? <horrified>. What <laughs> George, there, she'll there. resent you. She'll she'll resent you for that until she's seventeen. She Just for that. Scared the poor girl, and she went around <laughs> telling all the grandparents, "Oh no, I don't like how Baba cut his hair." But now I guess they're used to it. They come. The little one, the little one plays with it. So. Does Joanna like it? Yeah, yeah. She helped me shave it. So yeah. Uh, I, I'm not. I'm not convinced. That she helped well, me give it. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She helped me. She felt bad for me because it would look worse if I missed a few patches. No, no, but uh, she, I think what he meant was they were really excited. And then when they saw the result, they're like, yeah, it's okay. No. <laughs> so she, she was the one telling me that. You know, so let's look at this clinic for hair plugs. She, she, she was, yeah. <laughs> no, she, she was telling me that, you know, I think you're there, you know, like I think maybe you should consider it. I, I bought the clipper. It's been sitting in the drawer for a month, maybe over a month. So it's like, I, I'm at the point where I'll buy a new clipper. And then I'll go put it in my storage. I'm like, hey, I have two other new ones I haven't opened yet. <laughs> wait, 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 George, you were contemplating it for a whole month before you did it? Yeah, yeah. It was, you, uh, you were uh, waiting for more than a month. Courage. It was it, it was more than a month. It was in there. I'm like, I actually opened the box. It came in the case, right? So I, the first day I was like, all right, let's get everything ready, put it in the case. And the case went in the drawer in the bathroom and it stayed there for a month and a half. <laughs> He, George, he needed a month to muster up the, the courage to do it. Yeah, it, 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 it took a month. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, he, I know what it took a month to do. It took a month for him to say to himself, "I'm gonna look at the, I'm gonna look through the door, and if it looks better than this, I can't walk back in." <laughs> and he wasn't, he wasn't ready to turn his back on the other side of that door. <laughs> but uh, yeah. Yeah, the question I was consistency. Will I? Were you laughing while you were shaving it? Yeah, we didn't. I didn't care. That's it. Yeah. That's it. You'll be fine. It's Keep fine. shaving. It's fine. I, I thought of zero. doing it too, man. I thought of doing it too. Why? It's not fair. It's not fair. You know what? You know why? Just. Like, I mean, what, what's next? You're gonna ride a, a fucking wheelchair without needing one? What's up? <laughs> <laughs> what are you? A, a swimmer? You gonna do your whole body? <laughs> 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 yeah, why, why, uh, why would you want to shave it? Uh, just to do it once. Just do it once. Let it grow. Maybe it's going to fortify it a little bit. You know? Is that, is that true? I've heard. Other I don't know. That, that's what I've heard, man. Those little little hair follicles. I need to get a little stronger. Dude, you've been cutting. <laughs> you've been cutting your hair for nearly forty years. <laughs> I think your hair is as strong as it could get, man. No, but I don't know. Maybe maybe it is a myth. But I've heard that if you cut it at the root, I'll tell you what it is. There's little baby hairs that mature really late in life that you go and you try to get them activated quicker. Hmm. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Head. I'll experiment. I don't know. Do it, man. Just go completely bald. Change your shirt. Just, just like that. Just like that. Yeah. Straight, straight to the you're not. You're not ready to cross that door. I'm not ready. Okay, I'll wait. Do it during the holidays when you don't have to <laughs> teach anybody. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. But I got it. So, George, you inspired me, man. It looks good. I think it looks good. Thanks, man. I like it. I like it. Thanks, man. Gangster. No. We'll get he's, he's just saying it looked worse before. That's all he's saying. <laughs> no, bro, the gangster come down. The, the, the gangster come down there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Imagine I went full. Like, you, you shave your head and you get a tattoo on it. <laughs> on the neck, on the neck. Here, here. here. Going, going up the back like this. Yeah, going up in the back of your head. <laughs> it's like you went all out, you know? Oh, shit. These are real bad problems.
All right, guys, on that note, we're going to end it for today. Uh, thanking you all for tuning in once again. And uh, reminding you, if you do have any questions or any comments, do send those our way. We'll try to make this as interactive as possible. Uh, thank you to Amelie, who sent us that question about posting uh, pictures of our kids on social media. We do appreciate it. Uh, so yeah, send us your comments, send us your questions. Uh, it'll uh, be our pleasure to answer them and to, to discuss those comments. Subscribe to our channels, uh, like and follow us on all the social uh, media platforms and all the audio platforms as well. Uh, thanks guys for coming on and uh, see you all on the next episode. Yeah. Ciao boys. <laughs>